So sharks are in trouble. What can we do to protect sharks? Well, the world of shark conservation is currently at a bit of a crossroads, and there are competing visions on what we should do. There's a lot of focus on individual charismatic species. There's a lot of focus on shark fins. There's a lot of people staging very flashy protests. This person painted herself silver and suspended herself by fish hooks through her shoulders outside a fish market in Hong Kong. I'm sure you'll be shocked to learn that this did not stop global overfishing. Uh, sustain, if the problem is unsustainable fishing, another one solution is to push towards more sustainable fishing. Not stopping all fishing, just stopping the too much. And uh, this is something that a jackass friend of mine made for me when I said, I don't trust any solution to a complex global problem that fits on a bumper sticker. So he made a bumper sticker that encapsulates my views. <laughs> so if you want to learn more about uh, shark policy and what policies are available, I encourage you to check out our open access review that's intentionally written for non-experts in the journal Animal Conservation. But there's a lot of different policies, and you can divide them up a lot of different ways. We scientists love categorizing everything. The way I think is useful to categorize them is into whether or not they, the goal is more sustainable shark fisheries or no shark fishing. Uh, the target-based policies aim to maximize sustainable fisheries exploitation of sharks while minimizing unsustainable fisheries. And these are traditional fisheries management tools, uh, size limits, quotas, anyone who's gone fishing has encountered something like this. In recent years, there have been a wave of these newer policies um, the limit-based policies, they, don't, they aim to just ban, they'd say no shark fishing at all, no trade in shark products at all, regardless of whether it comes from a sustainable source. Just no, just stop it all. Uh, these are things like shark sanctuaries, which I'm not going to talk about too much during this talk, and shark fin trade bans, which I'm going to talk about a little bit later. And I know that there are some people here who came specifically to ask me questions about my stance on this. Uh, I remind you to please take, I'll, I'll leave plenty of time for questions at the end. So this is not a new debate. Uh, this is John Muir and Gifford Pinchot, the um, b sort of parents of um, American environmentalism, and they had competing views on how we should protect US wilderness. Pinchot was the first chief of the US Forest Service, and his perspective was we should manage the wilderness so that it can most benefit humans. And the Forest Service still does that to this day. There's, uh, they're managed sustainably, but people cut down trees. Muir, on the other hand, wanted to pre preserve intact wilderness, not mess, with that, not mess with nature at all, not take anything out of there. So this is a, not a new idea. Uh, and of course, as with everything else, uh, this argument did not start with two old white guys in the US. It's been going on for thousands of years in different cultures all over the world. But because we are in DC, I figured I'd start with a US policy reference. So few Westerners would disagree with this characterization of the, the Pincho uh, resource exploitation versus Muir wilderness preservation. Something like an anchovy, sure, that's something we should exploit and manage sustainably. Few people would disagree with that. Something like the great whales. Most people would say, yeah, that's wilderness to be preserved. That's not something we should be exploiting, even if it is sustainable. Uh, most Westerners. But sharks sort of fall awkwardly in the middle there. And that leads to a really interesting case study. People who support these target-based policy tools, the sustainable fisheries tools for sharks, and I should say up front, I am one of these people, uh, we tend to do so for two reasons. One is a belief that sustainable shark fisheries can and do exist. It's, it's possible to do this to begin with. And that's a scientific question, and it's been answered, as you'll see in the next few slides. And the other is, we, this is an opinion question, sustainable shark fisheries are good and offer some benefits to people and or to sharks that are not found with bands. 